Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about Draymond Green? man how he snubbed his own teammate Jordan Poole man we gotta go ahead and talk about this man because you know your boy Draymond Green man you know he been barking at so many other NBA players throughout his whole entire career he I mean you can at least say the boy got as many technical fouls as Dennis Rodman. Like, he gotta be second. <laughs> you know, this guy done got suspended, all kinds of stuff. But has he ever hit anybody? Has he ever bust knuckles on any other opponent, on any other team? I don't think so. I, it may be a hidden tape somewhere. I didn't see it. I didn't hear it being reported. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, in practice, like Al Iverson said, practice. We talking about practice. We ain't talking about the game. We talking about practice. Yeah, practice. He going to snuff Jordan Poole in practice after Jordan Poole just pushed the boy back for bumping him in his chest all in his space, probably spitting in his face talking. You know Draymond got them big teeth. <laughs> so you know he was that boy. Jordan Poole up, man, get up out of my face, man. But see, you know, what was it about? What was the hit about? Was it about Jordan Poole getting, you know, as many rings as him and being able to talk as big as him eventually and then take more minutes away from Draymond Green, because now Draymond Green probably come after Jordan Poole now. You know, Jordan Poole can't come in after Clay Thompson. So, <laughs> you know, cut his minutes down. Is that what, what the problem is? Because Jordan Poole playing better, playing more efficient, scoring more points. He's more needed than Draymond Green is. Or is it's something bigger to this whole thing. Is Draymond Green trying to punch his way out of a contract to get himself traded to another team? I shouldn't have said that. I know. I know. I should have said that. You know. Why would he want to get traded from a team where he won four rings with? Why would he want to get traded away from a team that he's built camaraderie with and these guys that went to the moon and back and ups and downs and highs and lows and from coaches to a coach that won them four championships? Hmm? Why? Why would he want to get, you know, in an altercation with a teammate? What did he say? You know, did he say, you know, we was at the club last night, your girl came on to me, and she told me you ain't the man you say you is? <laughs> you know, that's that punch he threw. Good God. Hit him like he was a nobody off the street. Black cow. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, man. Why on earth, Draymond? You know, and everybody calling for, you know, whoever leaked the video to be fired and yada, yada, yada. Well, hey, maybe they was tired of it. Maybe they was tired of seeing Draymond Green in practice bullying the other teammates like that. Maybe somebody just was like, you know what? They ain't going to do nothing about it. I'll do something about it. Hmm? So can you really say they were wrong for leaking this footage? What, what's going to happen with Draymond Green? Haven't heard nothing. No suspension or nothing. No outcry because, you know, they just gave him, what, $100 million. <laughs> Draymond got that, that money and the rings. 
He can do what he want to do, do how he want to do it now. I'm going to punch teammates out. I don't care. I got the money. I got the money now. <laughs> I can be more reckless now. Call my lawyer. I got a hundred million. I got a hundred million reasons why I can punch Jordan Poole. <laughs> Is that what happens when you get that kind of money to certain people? You know, they always said that, you know, money only intensifies who they were on the inside. So if, you know, you uh, a bully, uh, nut job, and like to start stuff and run your mouth and, and always got to have everybody fearing you and stuff like that. Imagine when you get a hundred million, you're going to do something like that. You know, he older than Jordan Poole, but it shows you he isn't. You feel me? You know, even though Draymond Green been there longer, he has not matured at all. <laughs> you know, maybe matured to be an analyst, you know, because that's probably where he going to end up anyway. You know, guys like they end up, honestly, those retired NBA players that go to the analyst stage as a second chance because they done screwed up and blew all their money and, and got lawsuits out on them and all this that because I ain't even gonna lie if I was Jordan Poole if something hurt on my face and put me out of the game or whatever boy might got a concussion who knows I assume I get some of that hundred million yeah go ahead and sell on out of court we got the tape the whole world seen it. I'm embarrassed. My feelings hurt. You know, mental anguish and mental suffering. You know how they throw that stuff in your face in court. Well, go ahead and get Jordan Poole all that. Give him 50. Give him 50 mil. <laughs> I bet you won't punch nobody else. <laughs> I bet you won't cock that arm. <laughs> Bro, man. <laughs> that what Draymond look like. A bro bear from the fifth floor with a beard. Man, I just knocked out Jordan Poole. <laughs> I'ma make me a sandwich now. <laughs> man, come on. Come on, Draymond. You got to be better than that, man. For real. You, what, What's going on up there right now? I bet you regret that. I bet you, I bet any amount of money he regret that thing now. Because how can you reconcile that with your teammate? Only way I can say is, is he do he go old school. You know, old school is when you hit somebody and, and, and they say, let me get my leg back. Let me get my leg back. That was Jordan Poole. I say, you really want to apologize to me. Don't apologize to the NBA and to all the fans that you hit me. Lift that chin up. Let me get my leg back. That's what need to happen. On national TV, throw that chin out and let your teammate cold cock you like you hit him. You can reenact the whole thing, push him, and then he cock back and bye. -bye. And then y'all can call it even and move on. But other than that, that young boy Jordan Poole, he gonna be just like Dag on Durant. Either he gonna go or either Draymond gonna go. That chemistry is broken after that. I mean, he knocked that boy out. He ain't just hit the boy, slap the boy, push the boy back, you know, wrestle him down to the mat or something, you know, hit him with a little body blow or something. No. He hit this dude like this dude spit on his mama purse <laughs> while she was standing there holding it. <laughs> For real. Caught back and hit that boy with all the strength he had. And the bad thing about it, Jordan Poole was already turning his head because he done pushed him and turned his head in the non-confrontational, you know, pose. Basically, he was assuming that, you know, so many people was around and they were going to come in and stop it. So he done pushed him, step back. But Draymond done step forward. The, the coach you see in the white shirt right beside him, he ain't even move, put his arm up or nothing. Let Draymond just pop, got by ya. Not that gonna draw boo out, man.
praise. Well, I don't think they're going to be getting the championship this year. With, with starting out like that. <laughs> For real. You can hang that up. Because somebody going to have to go. Somebody going to have to go. The Jordan Poole going to pull a, a, a Durant. Because you remember when, when Draymond Green called Durant a B. <laughs> called him a B to his face. <laughs> we don't need you anyway. We want to ring without you. All I can say is, is that, wow, you got NBA guys talking about boxing now. <laughs> That's why I had to do a video on it. <laughs> you got Jake Paul talking about <laughs> Draymond getting in the ring with me. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what, if his career of basketball don't last too long, he can join the bare knuckle. Uh, fight league, he'll be accepted there. <laughs> wow, oh wow, old Draymond, old Draymond Green. You finally hit somebody, huh? <laughs> Must have been built up tension because he ain't hit nobody else. He scared everybody else. <laughs> scared everybody else in the league. I would like to see him hit somebody else, anybody else. Now, because by you doing that, you're going to have to hit somebody else. Or that just basically shows that you are a punk. Period. You are a punk. I say it to your face, you a punk. Because you gonna beat up on your teammate, young boy that probably ain't got that much experience. He probably looking up to you. He probably try to show you respect. You know, and you join with him back and forth because you jealous of he got more minutes than you now. You know, he might have said so slick to you, but to hit him like that, man, like a dude off the street, yo, that's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. And, you know, the league, the NBA, the Golden State Warriors all should hold Draymond Green straight up accountable for that. For real. He ain't had no right hitting that boy like that. You know, he walked up to that boy and bumped that boy's chest in his space. So, therefore, he, he had the right to push Draymond back to get him out of his space. Now, did Draymond had a right to cold cock and knock him out like that? When he was obviously looking the other way? Wow. Sucker punch. Wow. But it don't surprise me. It sounds just like something Draymond Green would do. And with that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out till next time.